Hi everyone, I am Abhishek Vishwakumar, Assistant Professor, Department of Electronics and Communication, Tajiri School of Engineering and Technology. Today, I will be giving lecture on EC304 VLSI for Department of Electronics and Communication, where I will be talking about DRAM of Module 5. The content of DRAM are 3 transistor DRAM as well as 1 transistor DRAM. I will be explaining about the working of 3 transistor as well as 1 transistor. Where you can refer the textbook Digital Integrated Circuits a Design and Perspective as well as CMOS Digital Integrated Circuit Analysis and Design. DRAM means Dynamic Random Access Memory. Where DRAM is a type of RAM memory where you will be able to store a particular data in the memory which consists of a capacitor and a transistor typically which will be based upon most technology. In the case of DRAM, the charge will be stored in capacitor which will be of binary information which will be having two states either 1 or 0. Due to having capacitor in the case of DRAM, you need to do periodic refreshing that means capacitor charge will be lost over a period of time that is junction leakage current. Therefore, the cell data which you are having must be read or rewritten periodically even when the memory arrays are not occurred. While we are considering SRAM, you will be having latch. The cell data will be kept as long as power is turned on. The main advantage of DRAM is low cost and high density. Low cost means you will be mainly using DRAM in main memory of personal as well as main frame computer. Whereas static RAM, it will be mainly used as cache in the memory of microprocessor as well as mainframe computers. Next topic we will be discussing about 3 transistor DRAM cell. As shown in the figure, you will be having 3 transistor M1, M2, M3 and a parasitic capacitors. In the case of 3 transistor DRAM cell, we will be using M3 as a storage device where the transistor will be turned on or off depending upon the charge stored in the gate capacitance. For doing read as well as write operation, we will be using M2 as well as M1 which will be acting as an access switch. During write operation, the write bit line will be enabled and the voltage of write bit line will be passed on to the gate of the storage device through M1 transistor. During read operation, the voltage of read bit line is discharged to ground through M2 and M3 transistor when the gate voltage of storage device is high. In the case of 3 read operation, 3 transistor DRAM cell is non-restrictive and relatively fast. But it will be having 4 lines that is 2 bit line and 2 word line which will be giving extra increasing cell area. Next we will be looking into the detailed operation of 3 transistor DRAM cell. The circuit diagram of 3 transistor DRAM cell with a pull-up transistor for pre-charging and a column read-write circuitry is been shown. Here, in the case of 3 transistor DRAM cell, C1 will be used for charge storage. Depending upon the charge storage in C1, M2 transistor will be turned on or off. M1 and M3 will be acting as access switch transistor, which will be used for data read and data write operation. Here, in the particular circuitry, the column capacitor will be charge to a maximum value that means BDD where it will be storing a particular value something around typically 3.5 volt. Here basically we will be having two separate bit lines which will be used for data read and data write operation as well as two separate word lines which will be used for accessing the particular transistor where the two separate word lines are WS and RS line as well as two separate bit lines are data in and data out line. In the operation of 3 transistor DRAM cell, the peripheral circuitries will be based upon two phase non overlapping clock scheme. That means we will be having a pre charge event as well as a read write event. The pre charge event will be shown by a phase 5 1 as well as read write event will be shown by a phase 5 2. That means during data read or data write operation, which you are basically doing which will be preceded by a pre-charge signal. That means the pre-charge signal will be having a value high. During data read or data write operation, the pre-charge signal will be basically going low. During the pre-charge cycle, the column pull-up transistor will be activated 
and the particular corresponding capacitance that means column capacitance which is being connected is C2 and C3 which will be charged to a logic level high where the particular transistor will be basically storing a particular value which will be approximately equal to 3.5 volt. For checking the operation of read write operation in 3 transistor DRAM cell, we will be looking into a 4th second cell operation. It means first we will be writing a once, then we will be reading that particular written one sequence, then we will be writing a zero, then we will be reading a particular zero sequence which has to be written. For the case of write sequence 1, we will be having few components being active, rest all parts won't be active which would be shown as light color. Where the active parts will be having some dots which indicate that we are having a particular connection. For the particular line, rest all parts won't be having in connection. For the case of write operation 1, we will be having data transistor being turned off which will be making data underscore in light value high which will be charging the particular capacitor, column capacitor C2 to high value. For write operation 1, we will be making WS line word select line equal to high which will be making the particular transistor M1 on as well as read select line RS value O. That's why rest all parts have been shown in dim color. When the M1 transistor become on, C1 will be basically charging to a higher value. Basically C2 will be larger and C1 will be smaller value. Where C1 will be getting a higher value at the end, the charging process will be happening. After write operation has been completed, the particular transistor M1 will be turned off, will be doing read operation. After write operation has been completed, we have to read the particular sequence 1. For reading the particular sequence, we will be basically turning M1 off. For turning M1 off, we will be giving WS value 0 and RS value that means read select line value high. When read select line RS value become high, the particular M3 transistor become on. M2 transistor become on because of the gate voltage at the particular capacitor C1. Because of high value of the column capacitor C3, it will be having a discharging path. That means it will be getting a discharging path where RS line become high, which will be making transistor M3 on as well as M2 has become on, where C3, the Column capacitor will be discharging through M3 and M2, where you will be having the particular bit line, which will be that is data outline, which will be having a particular value low. The data outline value will be basically connecting to a sensing amplifier, which basically indicate that when data outline value is low, that means you are having a particular value 1. For doing right sequence operation, Next, we will be doing write zero sequence. For write sequence operation, we will be making WS line high and RS line low. For writing zero value, data in transistor will be turned on. That means data underscore in line will be basically having lower value because of turning the particular transistor on. Because of transistor being turned on and data underscore in line value being low, the particular capacitance value C2 as well as C1 value will be basically getting low where the particular transistor will be basically storing a particular value 0 where capacitor will be having a particular C1 will be having a lower value. For doing the read 0 sequence, we will be making WS line to 0 and RS line to high. When WS becomes 0, M1 will be becoming off and RS becoming high indicates that M3 transistor has become on. Because of written zero value, the capacitor C1 will be basically having zero voltage and which will be making the particular transistor M2 off. Because M2 transistor's gate value is having a zero volt. Due to that, C3, the particular column capacitor, it won't be having a path to discharge. So the particular line, data underscore outline, that means data which is been to be redone, its value will be basically high which will be connecting to a sensing amplifier, where sensing amplifier indicate that the particular value which is to be written is zero because of data outline having a particular value high. This shows the typical waveform of three transistor DRAM cell, where PC indicates recharge signal, 
when precursor signal will be going high during phase 1 which has been already said during phase 2 will be having write as well as read operation when write operation has been performed ws line will be basically going high as it is been shown when read operation either read 1 or read 0 operation which is to be performed rs line will be basically going high when write 1 to be done data in line will be basically going high when write 0 to be done data in line will be going low during that time data bar that means the particular transistor will be turning on which has been shown in the particular graph when the particular read value is high the particular data output which has been connected to sensing amplifier will be getting a value high where data outline will be getting a value low which indicate that you have to read one and when read value is zero data outline will be basically high which has been connected to sensing amplifier will be indicating that you have to read value zero next we will be looking into one transistor DRAM cell one transistor DRAM cell is basically sampling operation it basically consists of one explicit storage capacitor and one access transistor here c1 will be acting as a storage capacitor and cbl which will be acting as a large parasitic column capacitors here the basically the charge sharing between the large capacitance and very small storage capacitor it will be playing an important role in the basic operation of one transistor DRAM cell basically similar to three transistor DRAM cell the binary data will be basically stored in the presence or absence of charge stored in storage capacitors in the case of write operation of one transistor DRAM it will be basically depending upon charge storage value of capacitor C1 that means either it is charging or discharging basically in the case of write operation word line WL will be basically high and the bit line BL its value either 1 or 0 depending upon that you will be either charging or discharging the storage capacitor C1 for doing write 1 operation we will be making bit line as well as word line high during this period transistor M1 will be turned on and storage capacitor C1 will be basically charging to value VDD for doing write operation BL value will be basically making 0 as well as WL will be value word line value will be basically making high where the transistor M1 will be becoming on and it will be having a discharging path where C1 will be discharging and you will be writing a particular value 0. For the case of read operation of one transistor DRAM we have to basically build a read refreshing circuit that means during data read operation the one transistor DRAM will cell will be basically becoming destructive read operation. That means the data can be either lost during read operation or destroyed. Typically during read operation, the particular column capacitance CBL which will be charged to VDD by 2. The particular word line will be basically making high. Depending upon that, the particular transistor M1 will be becoming on. Depending upon that, the particular value of charge capacitor C1, it, its value depending upon that will be knowing either 1 or 0 to be read out by the help of sensing amplifier. If the value of C1 is high, that means 1 volt, which will be greater than VDD by 2 at the point X, that means you will be reading 1. If the value of C1 is 0 volt, then you will be reading a value 0 because its value is less than VDD by 2. Thus, we will be reading either 0 or 1 by using one transistor DRAM. In the case of one transistor DRAM cell, upon inserting a word line, the chart redistribution takes place between bit line and storage capacitors, which result in a voltage change on the bit line in the direction which determines the value of data stored, where you will be having a magnitude C, which will be given by this particular equation, delta V is equal to V suffix bit minus V suffix PR into C1 divided by C1 plus CBL where the particular voltaging value which will be of lower magnitude will be getting a typical value something around 250 millivolt where in the particular equation the capacitance ratio that means C1 by C1 plus CBL 
which is called as charge transfer ratio and you will be having a range between 1 and 10 percent. It's all about DRAM, explaining about one transistor as well as three transistor DRAM. Thank you.